Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show you how to assign the challenge cards and create a pin for our science stations, the challenge station of those science stations. So when you open up or when you download the file, um, you're going to see the folders just like this. Okay, so we're looking at the atomic structure science stations right now. You're going to see atomic structure black and white, atomic structure color, and some thank you and some credits. All right, this file here is within those folders, and I'm going to show you where to get that, um, which you have already found because you're watching this video, but this is the video that you're watching right here, and I'm going to walk you through all of these directions. If you want to, you can just follow the directions that we've given you step by step here. It's going to go through... Um, exactly the same things that I'm about to tell you about. But again, this is to create a PIN number for your students for them to be able to complete the challenge station boom cards on our science stations. All right, so we're looking at these folders here. The very first thing you want to do is select, do you want black and white or color? I'm just going to click color and we have four really important documents here and then we have a Google Form link where you can assign everything digitally to your students. And this is where we found uh, the file that we're watching right now, Assigning Challenge Cards and Pen. All right, so the first thing, once we click black and white or color, then we want to open the uh, number four, Station Printables. Okay. Once we're inside that folder, we're going to open up number one, Teacher Setup, and we're going to open up the PDF file teacher setup right here. All right, within this file are all of the directions for how to set up our stations, but we're really focused on this one right now, the challenge station. Okay, these cards are included with your purchase. You do not have to purchase anything extra in order to have access to these cards. That's been a question that's come up in the past. So when you scroll down to gain access and to generate a pin, you're going to click on one of these two links right here, it doesn't matter which one, and it's going to bring up this right here, okay? Um, since we're the seller of this, we get this little box here, you're probably not going to get that. If you've used Boom site before and redeemed anything, then um, all you need to do is uh, click, see it says redeem, anyway, all you need to do is click uh, sign in if you've already created password and username. If you haven't, you're going to click the one that says uh, create an account. And when you create an account or when you sign in, it's going to uh, give you a little button to say redeem. You're going to redeem that. And then those are going to be placed directly into your library. Okay, your library, you're going to, once you log in, you're going to see something like this. You'll have classes, library, reports, all this stuff up here. In your library, you click that tab, you're going to have all of your decks of cards there. Okay, so you're going to find the one that you're using that you just redeemed, which was Atomic Structure. Here it is. And super important, in order to assign a pin, I'm going to click on this Action tab right here. It's going to bring up a drop-down menu. And I'm going to click on the Fast Pin option. It's going to bring up this screen here. Okay, and on this screen, I have this little thing in the way, but anyway, there's a pin number behind there. And I'm going to go ahead and click generate pin or generate new pin, and it's going to give me a pin number. Again, it's behind this little pop up here. Um, you shouldn't have that issue, but there's going to be a four or five digit pin number there, and there's going to be a link down here. Okay. On our science stations, students will have a link that they're going to click on for the challenge section, and that's going to take them to um, Boom's Fast Play option. All that they're going to need from you is this PIN number, okay, J-E-C-W. So you give them that PIN number, they click on the link, all that they have to do is type in that four um, letter PIN number, and they're going to have access to those cards, and they're going to be able to play the cards just like they're supposed to. All right, and the biggest thing that you want to pay attention to is once you've created this PIN number, it expires in 14 days. All right, so 
you can set this up ahead of time if you want, but um, throughout the year or you know, if some time has passed, you're probably gonna have to go in there and generate a new pen. So let me just show you a different one. Um, let's say I was doing energy flow and ecosystems down here. Click on the action tab, fast pen. All right, generate pen. It's gonna give me the pen number. Boom, I just send that to the students, okay? And um, once they have that, they can play. All right, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at thescienceduo at gmail.com.